Hello and welcome to part two of our upside down nut detecting electrode. Um, in part one we looked at mostly nuts with, with big flanges uh, and now some people have been asking about nut without a flange. So I, I hope that this is something of an example that of what you're looking for, what you're using. Uh, this style of nut doesn't have a very big flange, it, it is square. Um, so this is for like an M5 or an M6, uh, maybe even yeah, probably about an M5 or an M6 nut. What we have is this style of electrode. So basically without the shield around it, we're no longer using a shield like we were before. We're just using um, the tungsten face and we're tailor making that surface so that it, it will weld the nut properly. But if the nut is upside down, if it is for some reason upside down, then this actually fits inside the projections so that the height of the entire assembly is different. So again, when it's right side up, and if the nut is upside down, it actually fits inside like that. Um, if you take a quick measurement, you can take a look at it. I'm gonna call it zeroed out. The nut is right side up on the ground this measurement now is about 1.5, 1.50. If the nut is upside down, then what I'm doing here when the nut is upside down, we see we have 1.46. So we're able to measure the difference or the height of these projections and we have 19 and 22. So it's again, it's about 30 to 40 thou difference. In the end you'll have the same thing with this one. So basically with this design of the electrode, if the nut is upside down, uh, the height will be wrong and so your system, you can design your system to shut off if the nut is upside down and the height is improper. When the nut is right side up, it will be taller and you can go ahead with your weld. Thanks very much.